Chapter number one, our Earth and our solar system. When we look up from an open ground, we see the sky. In a clear night sky, we can see many stars. They are far away from the Earth. Some stars are prominent. You can see the following in the image. Some are bright, while some are tiny and faint. If we look at them carefully, we find that many of them twinkle, but some do not. The sun and the moon are comparatively close to the earth, so we can see their round shapes clearly. The sun, the moon, the stars, the planets, etc. are all known as heavenly bodies. Stars. Now we will see what are stars. The heavenly bodies that twinkle are called stars. Stars have their own light. The sun from which we get light is a star. It is closer to us. It is closer, it is near to us than any of the other stars. That is the reason it appears big and brilliant. In its bright light, during the day, we cannot see the other stars. Why we cannot see the other stars? We cannot see the other stars because of its bright light. Because the sun's bright light during the day. Now we will see what are planets. Planets are heavenly bodies that do not twinkle. Planets do not have them, have light of their own. Earth is a planet and we do get light from the star, sun. They get light from the stars. Planets revolve around a star even as they rotate around themselves. In the following picture, we can see that the planet is are revolving around the sun and they are rotating around themselves too. Now we will see what is the solar system. Our earth is a planet. Our earth is a planet. It gets light from the sun. It moves around the sun. Its movement around the sun is called revolution of the earth. Its movement around the sun is called the revolution of the earth. Besides earth, there are seven other planets that revolve around the sun. They are Mercury, Venus, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. What are they? They are Mercury, Venus, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. Every planet in the solar system revolves around the sun along a specific path. This path is known as the planet's orbit. Now see the picture. In that, we can see that all the planets are in their path and that path is called orbit, means they are in their very own orbit. The sun, which is a star, and the planets that revolve around it are together called the solar system. Besides the planet, the solar system includes various other heavenly bodies. Now we will see what are those various other heavenly bodies in the solar system. Satellites. What are satellites? Some heavenly bodies revolve around the planets. They are called satellites. Satellites do get their light from the sun. We see the moon at night, it revolves around the earth. Hence, it is called a satellite of the earth. Most of the planets
planets in the solar system have satellites. The planets revolve around the sun along with their satellites. In the picture, we can see that the earth is revolving around the sun with satellite with the moon which is the satellite of the earth. Now what are dwarf planets? There are some smaller heavenly bodies that revolve around the sun. They are called dwarf planets. Of these the most well known is Pluto. Dwarf planets revolve independently around the sun. They have an orbit of their own. Dwarf planets also revolve around the sun independently. They also have their orbit of their own. Now we will see what are asteroids. Between the planets Mars and Jupiter, there is a band of heavenly, numerous, small heavenly bodies. They are called asteroids. Asteroids also revolve around the sun. In the very first picture, we can see that there is a band of asteroids between the planets Mars and Jupiter. Compared to the sun, other heavenly bodies in the solar system are much smaller. The moon is the closest to the earth. That is why it appears to be so big, although it is actually very much smaller than the sun. The planets, satellites, dwarf planets, and asteroids are all part of the solar system. Now we will see what is gravity. All heavenly bodies exert a force of attraction or pull on one another. This force is called the force of gravity. The sun exerts a gravitational pull on all the planets. Whereas the tendency of the planets is to move away from the sun. This means that the sun exerts such a force, such a gravitational pull on the, all the planets. Whereas the tendency of the planets is to move away from the sun. If the sun would, will not exert that gravitational pull on the planets, the all the planets will move away from the sun and they will meet each other and they may and the solar system will dis, be destroyed if the sun would not exert that gravitational pull. a result of these two forces, a planet keeps revolving around the sun at a fixed distance in a fixed orbit. In the same way, satellites revolve around their planets. In the same way, satellites revolve around their planets. Now, for example, in this picture, a man a man is pulling the ball, <clears throat> a man is throwing the ball up in the air. But because of the gravitational pulls, the ball is coming down to the earth again. Do you know, India space missions, Chandrayaan, on October 22nd October 2008, the Indian Space Research Organization, ISRO, launched a spacecraft to the moon. The mission is known as Chandrayaan-1. Mangalyaan is an another important Indian space 
mission. It is known as MOM or Mars Orbit Mission. It was launched on 5th November 2013. It got established in an orbit around the planet Mars on 24th September 2014. ISRO achieved this feat in its first attempt. Both these missions are unnamed. There were no people on board these spacecraft. The objective of the mission is a deeper study of the moon and the Mars. You can also see the, some photographs of the satellites and I mean spacecraft and the picture taken by the spacecraft. People have always been curious about the heavenly bodies in the sky. They have always wanted to reach them. However, to send some object from this earth into space, it must be given power against the force of gravity. It must be given such a power that it can go against the force of gravity. Rocket technology or space launch technology is used for that purpose. Now we'll see what is rocket technology or space launch technology. One of the Diwali firecrackers is called a rocket. It is packed with explosive substances. The explosives burn rapidly and produce a lot of energy. The design of the rocket is such that the firecracker is pushed in a certain direction. The explosives burn rapidly and produce a lot of energy inside the rocket and the design of the rocket is such that the firecracker is pushed in a certain direction at a great speed. Very powerful rockets are used to send a spacecraft into space. A tremendous quantity, a very 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 large quantity of fuel is burnt in the rocket so that spacecraft may Waiting, thousands of tons can be launched into the space. In the 20th century, a few countries of the world developed space technology. In the 20th century, a very few countries of the world developed space technology and sent hundreds of spacecraft into space. Our country is well known, our country India is well known for the development of its space launch technology. Some spacecraft remain in the space, some are brought back to the earth while some land on other planets or satellites. In some missions, scientists also travel in the space. They are called astronauts. Astronauts. They are called astronauts. Do you know? Indian astronaut Rakesh Sharma became the first Indian astronaut to go into space in 1984. He spent eight days on a space station for a joint mission of ISRO and the Soviet Intercosmos. Seeing India from the space, he said that it looked sare jahate acha. It looked very, very good, very, very nice than all the other countries. Now we'll see what are man-made satellites. Man-made satellites provide useful information for the agriculture, environment, weather forecasting, making maps and searching for water and mineral wealth on the earth. They are also used for telecommunication. They are put into the orbit around the earth. They can remain in the space for many years. So this was the chapter. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you.